pipes. Now, this particular topic asks you questions that I would consider more just common sense type of questions. So a lot of the questions you can solve without any help. But what I find is a lot of people get really stuck on the percentage questions. So I'm just going to focus on them. Now I've got three dot points which outline what I consider to be the three main percentage type questions. And what you'll find is if it's not one of these three, it will be a variation of one of them. All right. So the very first dot point is calculating the percentage of an amount. And this is probably your most basic one. An example of a question relating to this might be something such as find 8% of uh, $200. That's the type of question that you might get for this dot point. And it's really simple. All you do is take the percentage, which in this case is 8, you divide it by 100 and multiply it by the amount, or 200. And that will find you 8% of $200. So that's the process that you use when you calculate the percentage of an amount. The next one, a little trickier, is calculating an amount as a percentage of the total. And probably a really simple example of this is if you do a test, and let's say in your test you got um, 17 out of 20 marks, right? So 20 is your, the total amount of marks, and 17 is what you got, right? So what you got correct. And let's say you want to convert this to a percentage. And all you really need to do is take your fraction and multiply it by 100. So if I go 17 over 20 or 17 divide 20 and multiply that by 100, I get 85. So this is the equivalent of 85%. Okay. And then the third one, I'm really not going to go into this. I do some examples of this in chapters 7H and 7I. And this one's really complicated, and that's why I don't really want to talk about it right now. 